All righty. Uh, number one, Dak will be fourth in MVP voting behind Kyler Murray, Josh Allen, and Matthew Stafford. Prescott will finish the season 4,500 passing yards and a career-high 40 touchdown passes. Wow. I think I think, I think everything is true. You know, might you might have Aaron Rodgers ahead of him, too. I'm not sure. But, yeah, around fourth or fifth for MVP, probably for Dak. Uh, yeah, I think that's fair. Um, Good prediction. They're not bold predictions. They're just predictions. Just predictions. Uh, yeah, I could see that going in pretty much any order. My early gut is telling me that the Rams could be the one seed in the NFC, but the schedule could make that tough. Tampa's still got an easy one. Dallas has a fairly easy schedule. My gut leans towards Stafford as the MVP. Josh Allen's been kind of... Up yeah, he down. has. He really has. If I had to bet on it, I'll say Dak finishes ahead of Josh Allen. Man, I'm surprised he's up and down with those giant hands, you know? It's true. Thought Power the ball lock. up there in the Northeast through that wind. Yeah, those, cold yeah. weather, those cold weather quarterbacks, you got to love them. Dak and Kyler will be two and three. Ah, we don't have Rodgers in there anywhere. Can you imagine how well Aaron Rodgers is about to play if he doesn't get suspended for the rest of the year? Because uh, apparently he is pissed okay. that his vaccination status got public. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. You're getting furious. Hippolos? They're doxing his Aaron status. Yeah. 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 So now he's about to. I learned the word doxing today, by the way. Oh. Yeah. Had to look it up. What's it mean? Um, is that a small dog? Revealing details about somebody's. <laughs> a weenie dog. Yeah. Is that a doxing? doxing? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Spikes half doxing. Yeah. Revealing, just... revealing personal information about a person. Okay. I learned it because of our guy that was covering the Dealey Plaza JFK Jr. thing. Oh. And he tweeted, he said, yeah, once I told my therapist that I'd been doxxed for that, <laughs> he said, my therapist asked, do you own a gun? Oh, no. He said, I love my therapist. <laughs> do you own a gun? <laughs> yeah, most Texans do. At least one. Number two, Micah Parsons will win Defensive Rookie of the Year. Certainly not a bold prediction either, says uh, John. I predicted that, though, before the season, didn't I? Yeah. That might be yeah. the one thing, yeah. you know, Hagen and we're talking about in the crosstalk that you predicted before it happened kind of a thing. He is a he is currently plus one fifteen to win. Yeah, uh, and he is the uh, leader in the clubhouse. Yeah, he'll win it most likely. Is there a pass rusher that's having a great rookie year? Odafe Owe. Oh Baltimore. yeah, okay. Baltimore. Owe in Baltimore. Yeah. Uh, okay, because if you don't have a guy who puts up big sack numbers, if you start looking at tackle numbers and tackle for loss numbers, Nick Bolton's creeping on the come up in he Kansas is. City. Like Good Nick, linebacker. Like, yeah, uh, Missouri. You guys liked him a lot too. We did. Sure yeah, did. Sure you guys did. are on fire uh, with these dudes. He's a Frisco guy. Um, yeah. And Mike, uh, I need Micah to keep getting sacks, keep rushing the quarterback. He That's will. how we're going to win it. He will because he was working with Dan Quinn today and, and Randy and those guys over pre-practice. Yeah, buddy. He was working on his well, reps. He is player of the week in the NFC on defense, and that was a lot of stand-up linebacker, wasn't it? So he can he can win that thing either way. Yeah. I think, I think he's going to two trophies. To, I think he's going to get to rush this week. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. All right. You hear that worder? <laughs> Coming for you. <laughs> yeah, you might want to uh, source Brian brought us on that as you're banging out that tweet. Mm. Number three, Trevon Diggs will not win a Defensive Player of the Year. What the hell, Johnny Matches? But he will finish with an NFL best 11 picks. That'd be the most by an NFL player in a single season since Everson Walls had 11 for the Cowboys back in 1981. Uh, Diggs will end up finishing second in the voting behind Miles Garrett, who is on pace for 22 sacks. So agreed. Yeah. Good with the right what there. If, what if with the, the Garrett part? What if least. the Browns don't have success? What if they kind of fall apart? All of a sudden, the the quarterback shoulders not as good. They don't win games. They don't get in the playoffs. You know, this whole thing with Odell Beckham might hurt them. I mean, 20 sacks is super impressive, but 20 sacks are 11 picks. What's giving you, you know, what's giving you the, uh... That's a good question. 11 picks is more impressive to me. Because it doesn't happen. Probably. It doesn't happen. And, and but I think you have to add in the context of, on a down-in, down-out basis, who does what. And I think Miles Garrett dominates on it a down-in, down-out basis. I'm just basis. trying to say on a team that might have yeah. NFC big playoff app, you know, uh... Aspiration. Aspirations. I was trying to there say the word aspirations. I didn't want to make sure that I got bleep there. You're on it. But yeah, I, I wonder if that's the you know eleven maybe twenty sacks or something like oh okay we've yeah you know, we maybe see twenty sacks eleven interceptions that doesn't happen too often. It is the cheap bag nation right here. We have uh, John Machota's fifteen predictions for the rest of the season. Zeke will end up with thirteen hundred yards, twelve rushing touchdowns. He is on pace for thirteen eighty seven. 
but I think he potentially sits out a game to rest late in the year. Pollard could also see a little bit more work if Mike McCarthy's looking to reduce the wear and tear on Elliott going into the playoffs. I think that's great journalism right there. Uh, with, without a doubt, you're going to want to uh, sit him, especially if the playoffs are out of reach. Like every every touch you can take away from a running back you mean could home pay off. Fields out of the reach. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. If things are are settled. Yeah. Yeah. Then uh, you rested Zeke for sure. But I, I think around 1,250, 1,300 yards, something like that. You still want him to have a, a nice good year. That would qualify. But it's it's more about the moments and how he is a difference maker in, in key spots. Number five, C.D. Lamb will lead the Cowboys in receiving yards with 1,412 touchdowns. Buying or selling that, guys? I'll buy it. Uh, don't tell Amari I said it. Amari, if you're I'm listening, at don't. Don't listen to this part, but, you know, Amari's got the hammy, and then the week before it was a different body part, and the week yeah. before it was a different part, body part. So I think Amari is tough as nails. I think he's a warrior. But I think the hobbles will make it easier for CD to be more consistent I the think, rest of the way. I think we've had this question before, and we were trying to play over-unders, and I kind of felt like that Amari being too banged up might hurt him. So yeah. I totally agree with Jeff on that. I don't know if there's an injury that's going to keep Amari off the field. You know, I think uh, he could get a cast at halftime and come out and score two touchdowns in the second half. Could you cast both his hands and he still have production? You okay? Yes, fingers, fingers, not as much fingers, obviously. Fingers are available, but you have a cast in the palms, like one of those ones that holds a wrist. Yeah, yeah, the wrist cast. Could you get one of those catching gloves over it? <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd have to he'd have to he'd be bodying him up. Terrence uh, Williams made a career out of that. Yeah, you'd have some drops, but I think uh, let's just we'll ask him at four thirty. We'll just ask Amari. Look, if I made you not be able to use your hands, how I can't would you wait. Do? I can't wait to hear this answer because yeah. it's going to be very thoughtful. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Amari Cooper's coming up about four well, thirty. Go, go. Is it a wrist cast or one of the full to the elbow cast? <laughs> yeah, he'll he'll ask you. He'll ask you to be specific about what kind of cast it is. Yeah, but for sure, I mean, if games are out of reach, he's going to sit. If, you know, your playoff position is determined, he's going to sit. So, yeah, CD is probably going to lead uh, the Cowboys in receiving yards, at least for this season. Greg Zerline will remain the Cowboys kicker all season. Some would like to see the team try out other options, but McCarthy and Fossil seem committed to sticking with him. His field goal percentage, 77.8. That's 22nd in the NFL among kickers with at least 10 attempts. Um, he's also 91% on his extra point. That ranks 24th in the league. Yes. His biggest kick this season is the 56-yard game winner against the Chargers. His time expired in week two. Yeah, I, I think it's time to move on. I, you know, I, I don't, I don't need great, but below average. You know, I, I, I don't get it at this point. Like, he, he, is he, a, is he a, a, a an onside kick specialist is he the watermelon kick? Remember that oh, the, the watermelon kick? Maybe he's maybe he's going to break that out again. We got, and, we got Atlanta next week, so I like the automatic touchback angle, but I don't think that has value compared to the extra. I mean, we're missing out on five percent. One out of every twenty kicks compared to average, he is going to miss. And over the course of uh, you know uh, eight games, that's 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 three points. That's, uh, uh, you know, um, and maybe that's not a big deal. But I think, again, just like Zeke's runs make the difference in key spots, so could Greg Zerline's missed kicks. And you don't want to lose like that, especially after seeing him struggle for two years. Why we should take kicking out of it. We should. We absolutely should. should get rid of kicking. You're right. Let the quarterback uh, throw it through the uprights, you know? Yeah. Reward arm strength and Keep accuracy. <laughs> Fourth a, down, throw that thing between the posts. Make them more narrow. Like you got, you got the the yeah. you know they could they could come in and be. Do you get to rush? Is yeah, it, or is sure. It free, or is it Knock a, yourself out. Yeah, you rush. Throw? No, you rush. Free throw. Okay, oh, so yeah, you, you come get some. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but how, I like his idea. If you got to narrow it up, otherwise it's easy from sixty and in. Yeah. You know, I want to see if we narrow that thing to where it's only like four yards wide, three yards wide, maybe. What if you uh, hit the crossbar an extra point? Like you get instead of three, you get four. No, I think it's a live ball if you hit the crossbar and it comes back and field to play. Yeah, I think you got. That sounds very arena ball like. I think it's I time love to that. get it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this kicking and punting, it's unnecessary. It's yeah. antiquated. We could uh, throw a, punts, a throw work. field goals. Yeah, I, I'm <laughs> with him. Throw the corner. Throw it all. Randy Gregory will lead the team in sacks with 15 and make his first Pro Bowl. Woo! Uh, he enter. Uh, he's on pace for 13 this season. It'll also hurt your chances of re-signing him. Nah, he's, he's heating up. He's a pass rusher. They'll keep him. 
But then they're but Stevens gonna be like, well, obviously now Steve? he's 29, 28 now. Two year deal. <laughs> we got a lot of the guys to pay. And Randy's gonna be like, well, we have offers for like a six year deal, and they're gonna be like, right, we're thinking two. And he's gonna be like, what? <laughs> what the hell? We have a five year deal with one year guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, there you you know, go. you gotta do something team friendly. Everybody's got to sacrifice here. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I, I do think he's gonna hit fifteen. I think he's been getting better. He's building up and building up now, and really breaking out. And then when Tank comes back, I, I think the opportunities for him to get those sacks where guys are pushed into him are going to start popping Could have up. have a couple this weekend. Yeah, okay. All Could right. have a couple. Uh, sounds like uh, the Cowboys are excited about their opportunities to rush the passer. Yeah, Loading I think up, so. Think stack so. them up like yeah, plus those, sandwiches. You know, those tackles are not very good right now in Denver. Cowboys will make the uh, have nine players make the Pro Bowl is prediction number eight. You got Prescott, Zeke, Lamb, Gregory, Parsons, Diggs, Schultz, Martin, and Punter. Brian Anger. All right, they went too fast. Go back through. Slower. Come on. Give them to me again. Dak, Zeke, CD. <laughs> That's not slower. Okay, Dak, Zeke, CD. Got it. Randall. Randall. Micah. Yeah, Randy Gregory. Oh, okay. Okay. You got to Micah Parsons, Trevon yeah. Diggs. Okay. Schultz, which is going to get him an extra big fat check from somebody else. You guys Top hated pick. Schultz. Yeah, I, I mean, I like Schultz. I, I you know, I what? think he's a guy, nice what? guy, as a person, <laughs> oh. as a person. There's yeah. a new Call of Duty that comes out today. I bet he's going to play it. Maybe he'll stream it. Maybe I'll play with him. You got as uh, a person, yeah, great guy. And I, I like, I like what he's doing for the Cowboys right now when he's not dropping the ball or showing uh, butterfingers. It's great. We're yeah. an ox star. We're saying his name. You guys yeah. look at me like he stepped in dog mess. Nah, he's all right. You're he's, gonna, he's he does. He's a tight end that does his job. You're gonna turn a good story into a point of frustration if you pay him just like you did with Jalen Smith, but not that bad because he'll still, you know, be able to play pretty good. What if they pay him, which once again they're going to pay him and a footlong sub. <laughs> they're going to pay him and they're going to keep Jarwin, who now makes like eight million a year. <laughs> oh, geez, what's happening? It would double jobber tight end. It's like uh, it's a, it's our, our our jobber formation here when we go to twelve personnel. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Send jobber out. <laughs> <laughs> you see the sub, the coach is calling for the sub patterns. The Cowboys will lead the NFL in total offense and scoring offense. That'd be sweet. They lead the league at 455 yards per game. They're third at 32 points per game. Okay, I don't necessarily need to win at yardage. I do want to win at points. Because mm -hmm. uh, if you have the most yards, I think that might mean that you didn't always have great field position. I'd like to have some good field position. Get some points. We'll get some penalties and back it up to where it's like second and 25 and I, get more yards. I do way. appreciate that in the right game setting. If it's mm -hmm. a comfortable win, every time they get a hold, I'm like, oh, sweet. Dak's going to get 10 more passing yeah. yards to make up for that. Uh, mm -hmm. That's a lot of fun. I'm sure the receivers like it. Uh, but just go ahead and score the points. We don't points need all good. the yards. Yeah, points are good. Number 10, defensively, the Cowboys will finish 15th in total defense and scoring defense, but not top 10. They're 19th in total. They're 16th in scoring at 23 points per game. We're going to have to step it up. Yeah. Now, if you end up where right where they are, but you also end up right where they are in turnover differential, which has to be top two or three in the league. Two right now. I okay. Believe. Number that, one in interceptions. Then that'll work for me. But if you're not going to end up that high up on two turnover three. differential, yeah. then I think, uh, yeah, you're going to have to we're just crank it up just a tad.